In this video, we replace the rear axle differential bearings, a common wear item on Volkswagen Group vehicles equipped with four-wheel drive using the fifth generation Haldex coupling with high quality Phoebe replacement parts, which are not available from the vehicle manufacturer. Phoebe Kit 1 million is the first number created in the new seven digit part number sequence. For the purposes of this video, the Haldex and differential oil have already been drained and the rear differential unit has been removed from the vehicle to provide a clearer view of the process required to change the bearings. For further details, a Phoebe Pro Tip Bulletin can be found at www.partsfinder.bilsteingroup.com. With the unit on a bench, use a slide hammer to remove the drive shafts from the differential then proceed to undo all the retaining bolts from the housing. Split the housing and remove the differential and crown wheel assembly and inspect. The differential bearings in this example are showing signs of excess wear and pitting, therefore requiring a replacement. Remove the Haldex clutch unit from the differential housing and inspect. Then check the smoothness of operation of the pinion bearing by turning the shaft by hand. With the differential unit stripped down, remove the two magnets from the fluid chambers and clean any debris from the housing and differential. Once cleaned, remove the drive shaft seals from the housing. Then, using a suitable brass drift and hammer, tap out the bearing inner cups and shims for both sides. Using a hydraulic press, Press off both taper roller bearings, then clean all mating surfaces and press on the new bearings. Next, press the new bearing cups into the housing, making sure to install the shims first. To achieve good operation from an axle overhaul, it is essential to correctly reassemble the components and replace all damaged or worn parts. Cleaning and close inspection are vital. Test fit the differential with the new bearings to ensure the differential runs smoothly and has the required backlash and even contact with the crown wheel and pinion teeth. Apply a gear marking compound that contains lubricating grease and coloured pigments, such as Engineer's Blue, to the mating gears. Install the differential to the housing and bolt together the two halves, then insert the drive shaft flanges into the differential. Turn the pinion in both directions, checking for smoothness of operation. Once satisfied, remove the differential, checking the pattern on the mating surfaces of the gears. The optimal contact pattern should be centred on both the full depth tooth and the face width. Clean the marking compound from the gears, then apply the liquid sealant provided to the mating surfaces of the housing. Install the two magnets into the oil chambers and reassemble the differential housing, then, using a suitable drift, install the new drive shaft seals. Fit the new circlips to the drive shafts and install them into the differential. Before refitting the Haldex clutch unit, remove the pump and clean the plastic gauze filter. Apply the new O-ring seals to the Haldex unit and pump and then refit to the differential housing. Reinstall the repaired differential unit to the vehicle and fill the differential and Haldex unit with fresh oil from the kit, ensuring the correct oil is applied to the correct area. Road test the vehicle to test the four-wheel drive operation and quietness of the repaired differential. <laughs> 